Welcome to this PS Trace tutorial video. I'm Lutz Stratmann and today I would like to show you how to make a measurement in PS Trace, save it and, well, the usual things you do with your measurements. I've already connected my PalmSense 4 to a dummy cell and I would say without further ado, let's start with PS Trace. Okay, so as I said, I connected it physically, so now I need to connect it to the software. So I don't see my PalmSense 4 here, so I press the refresh button and now I see it. So I press the connect button and then I'm connecting to the PalmSense 4. Um, maybe you also saw the Bluetooth button, so if you have in the settings Bluetooth enabled, there will be a Bluetooth button and you can also find devices that are, um, that are Bluetooth enabled, so for example a PalmSense 4 or maybe an MZ4R. Um, then for doing your measurement, you set the technique that you would like to perform today, that is linear sweep voltammetry. You can write some notes in here just to maybe describe your measurement or what you're going to do. Um, here I've just uh, written in there what my dummy cell is, which is, which is just a 10 kilo ohm resistor. Here you set the current ranges, um, so that means basically in which order of magnitude do I expect my currents to be. And then the, the potentiostat will switch for you between these current ranges to find the one that gives you the ideal sensitivity. Um, I would skip the pretreatment settings and usually you can do that if you're not doing stripping voltammetry, but just as a short info, it allows you to apply up to two different potentials for different amounts of time before you start the measurement. Then we have the T-equilibration. This is the time um, where you apply the starting potential without actually recording values to know you let, you let some capacitive charging current decay or you give your potentiostat some time to perform outer ranging, meaning choosing the right current range for you. And then the typical parameters for linear sweep voltammetry, which I've chosen here, which are the start, the end, the step, so how often do we take a point, and the scan rate, so how, how fast do we scan. So these were already the important settings. Then I can press the run button and, well, the measurement starts already and it's a very fast measurement and I'm only measuring a resistor. So what we see here is the result of Ohm's law. We see here that our measurement is here. So we've done our first measurement. So the most important thing for many people is to make sure their data does not get lost. So the first thing we're going to do now is save our data. For that, you go to data and then you go to save data. You, um, well, you choose a name for your file. Let's say test. And then you press enter and you have saved your file. This file includes your data curve as well as all your measurement parameters. Um, if you only want to save your measurement parameters to maybe share them with a, um, with a friend or colleague that they can reproduce your measurements, you can go to method and choose there save as and then you just choose the method parameters. Right, if you want to load measurements or methods just go to data or method and load the corresponding file. And that was already our first tutorial session for PS Trace. Um, if you're interested in more tutorials, please visit our YouTube channel and don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn so you don't miss any of our updates. Thanks for watching and have a great day.